is a recent addition that this is what we're talking about today with you two, uh, is the consulting service. And under that uh, heading there, consulting, uh, you, it's a powerful program, I know that. For those of you that are online, check it out at ITRG Consulting, powered by uh, BC or Besson Consulting. So Luke, can you tell me why you decided that that service was something you needed to check out? Well, we've done other consulting with other other people and they didn't live in the shop. They didn't work in a shop. They haven't written ROs and they haven't worked around trucks either. Most of it was automotive. So we felt like we, we, we needed some more help to get us in the truck world. People that have actually done what we're trying to do, bringing them in. Um, they understood better. They actually came to our location and actually seen what we had. No, no other shop, no other consultant that we've worked with has ever even done that. So we had high hopes and, you know, they came in and they had a lot of good things to say and uh, we are working on them. They sent us a pretty good sized action plan of things to get done. Um, You're known as a successful uh, independent truck repair shop in Eastern Nebraska. You're known throughout the region. And I appreciate from my perspective, being able to share an ITRG service there for your marketing, and you've become more and more known uh, throughout that region. So successful, at least from most perspectives. What made you decide that now you needed that little extra push that was going to be available through uh, the consulting service here? Well, we, we, you can always do better. So you can always do better to serve your customers. You can always do better to be more profitable. That's been uh, one issue that we've kind of been working on a little bit is being a little more profitable. That was kind of the, really the main thing we needed to help us move us forward is to be more profitable. Uh, we have lots of work, a lot of good people, but not exactly profitable. They, they were able to come in, look at our P&L and different things like that to see where we can trim some of the fat, so to speak, and, and where we're also giving away the farm where maybe we shouldn't be so much. The heart of the matter is, in most cases, successful diesel repair shops know their stuff. They come to ITRG to know it better, to know more of it, and then to function better as a business. And isn't that really what you're talking about here? You knew there was potential to grow. And that shows, I would just want to mention to others who are going to be watching this, that shows uh, the, the willingness to improve even when you think you're great. You could be the best place around and you could be, you could be profitable and you could be know everything in the in the world on trucks and be the best place around but that doesn't mean there's not room for improvement there's not that doesn't mean that you can't serve your customers better there doesn't mean that there there can't be benefits through itrg that can help cut some of the the fat so to speak on your expenses to help you be more profitable and help out your bottom line well you mentioned that they roll their sleeves up and they jump right in to the shop which most consultants we know don't do Right. Uh, that's very common that they kind of phone it in, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and what I was going to say, I, they did come and do that. And then they offered you a plan. And just tell us how you have tried to initiate it. And if there's been initial success, maybe that would be a good place to uh, build on this. Well, they gave us a whole new, um, whole bunch of different spreadsheets. So now they got us doing daily tracking on figuring out where, where we're at for the month. And so daily, uh, we figure out what we, what we closed out in sales and parts. So we know where we're at for the rest of the week and know if we're behind or ahead. So instead of waiting right now, we do it weekly. But by the time the week's over, it's, it's too late. So we can, we can do it daily tracking. The people, my people are paying attention to that and everything like that. The uh, outside sales, they help with outside, my outside sales guy change his routes around a little bit and do customer profiles. They gave us all this uh, spreadsheets to help us come up with the numbers on all these different avenues that makes a big difference uh, on, on the managerial side of going, let's chase these customers, let's not chase these customers, let's work, we need to drive more work in, or we're sitting pretty good right now, we need to you know, start putting work off till next week. So um, there's a lot of that good stuff and then helping us cut back on our overtime and just different things like that on where we're, where they see we're spending too much money on that we need to work on. I was going to ask Amber, you're receiving tools through ITRG consulting and they've been beneficial so far and there's more to come. It's an ongoing right. program. 
So can you tell us uh, what sort of things they're coming to you? Are they easy to work with? Are, are you able to put them immediately to, to use once you've got them all lined up and, under, and comprehended? Uh, what's yeah. been your experience with it? Uh, yeah, they sent us a bunch of uh, spreadsheets and forms that we can fill out. Um, some of them are monthly uh, tracking to kind of see how you're doing compared to the month before. Um, there's a budget thing in there. They've, they've worked with us to establish a budget for the fourth quarter of this year. Um, and then they're going to work with us for a, a budget for the following year. And yeah, it's, it's all kind of plug, plug and play. They have everything's kind of spelled out where you can just input the numbers and it, so far, it looks great. Um, I'm interested to see a couple months down the road here, you know, comparing where we have a little bit more uh, use from it and can kind of compare the months as we go. Uh, has there been any um, initial good news or anything like that you care to share with us? Uh, the tracking sheets may seem to be making a great, uh, we seem to be doing really good with those. We've got one for service and one for parts, and you can see where we're supposed to be at the end of the month. You input what date it is how many days uh, are available to work for that month. Uh, and then it calculates where you should be month to date. And then uh, you can compare your numbers against that and see if you're tracking behind or if you're tracking ahead. And uh, it shows the breakdown in gross profit between service and parts. So you're not just looking at one gross profit percent. You can compare, uh, you know, is service low and parts are high or vice versa. Uh, so that's that's really making a big difference right away. From Amber, for, from your perspective, on a scale of one to five, you know, you get the little stars, one, two, three, four, five, are you willing <laughs> to share, would you, would you say they're a one so far, or a two, or a three, or are you really happy with it at this point? Uh, what, would you, what would you give it? You know, right now, I guess I'd say probably a four. Uh, the information is fantastic moving forward with the implementation of it. Then you can look back and say, now I give it a five. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Very good. Luke, would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Uh, you know, Dustin came out here a couple of weeks ago um, and worked with us for about a week, was it? Mm -hmm. Five days, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, helped us with the implementation of some of that and trained some of our front end on creating estimates before we do the work and all of that. And that has been um, not just that, but help with our shop flow, really key that in. He, he, he paid close attention to what we're doing and the software we have and wrote up a shop flow for our shop specifically and and spent a day or one or two days helping us implement it and so that that was that's been really good what would you tell a prospective member or a prospective shop about ITRG and whether it's worth it yeah they need to they probably need to get on board and uh and reach out past their horizons a little bit and a lot of independent shops think think to the best and and know everything. And once you kind of step out of your box and get out of your own little country or county or state or whatever you're in, you can learn a lot more about what's out there, the the technology, the information, the training, um, all of the things that you guys offer um, can really help launch them in, a, in another direction. If they're already good, then what's stopping them from jumping on this and being great? Many times a, a shop is almost like an artist. They're so good at the craft. And then the organizational part of it is kind of lacking. Amber, could you just <laughs> a quick comment on that? The difference before and after just so far? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of shop owners are former technicians and they do great at what they do, which is fixing trucks. But you know, the business side of it and the marketing and the recruiting and um, keeping track of numbers and trying to keep growing your business. Uh, that's something that, you know, shop owners need a little bit of help with. And um, getting that help gets you from, from good to great. And then you, and I've mentioned earlier that you put the marketing tools to work. And mm -hmm. has that had an impact on your overall business, the way per people perceive you? I know Luke mentioned to the phone and other things, but have mm -hmm. you had good, just general community recognition and industry recognition based on what you're doing with those tools that you got right here at ITRG? You know, it's one of those things where every little piece of marketing helps immensely, but when they're constantly seeing us on TV and they're hearing, hearing us on the radio and they're seeing the billboard, um, we're really kind of sticking in their head and it's not some little mom and pop shop in the backwoods that doesn't know what they're doing and doesn't have the technology. You know, I think it makes us look more professional and um, we've really changed our clientele from it. Um, 
we've gotten a lot bigger clients, a lot, uh, just a, we, we've grown quite a bit uh, from using those tools. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part of it, Amber? You know, for me, it was going through the spreadsheets, but I'm a nerd. I like spreadsheets. So um, <laughs> you see all that, all that information that was taken from our actual numbers and our actual business um, and having it put in a way that makes sense and, and them walking us through it. Uh, that was definitely my favorite part. Um, it just, it was a lot more than we've seen from other consulting companies where they're very just generalized. Uh, this was specific to our business. So I'd say my favorite part is when Dustin actually came out and worked with our guys for a week and actually paid attention to what we're doing with our software and our shop flow and all of that and uh, helped kind of critique some of my people a little bit on that stuff. I think that was pretty powerful. Okay, thank you. Well, there are a number of other things we could uh, ask you, but uh, we don't want to drag it out. I just want to thank you so much for participating today. You certainly been you've been a like a, a glowing example of how to run a shop through ITRG the services. And we say we are you, uh, and it's really true, isn't it? That uh, ITRG is people like you, businesses yeah. like you. Yep, we for sure. Is. And just before we wrap up here, let make sure that uh, we, I haven't missed anything. I'll ask him. Mr. Munson there, if he could share with us anything uh, he might want to hear from you that I didn't ask you for. How about it, Bud? You know, the whole idea with this is, is to bring us all together, this networking, because networking is huge. It's probably one of the biggest tools of mm -hmm. IG itself or anything else is, is networking. So I'm mm -hmm. glad you guys tried it out because, you know, I, I knew I knew it would work. I knew it would be great. And I, I knew you guys would be I know. It. So what'd your numbers do? Is it a lot better? You know, it's hard to tell at this point, we are definitely better, but it hasn't been long enough to say, you know, for sure that it's not just a, a weird fluke spike in business, but uh, yeah, the last two weeks have been fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, we are busier and shit. We are. We're very but busy. I don't know if that's because of them. I don't, I don't know if it's because of them and our, our sales guy working harder or just the time of the year. Well, as I said, we need it need a little bit more time to establish right you know a little bit more consistency but last last two weeks definitely have been fantastic what did we end up doing last week Ninety three thousand. oh my goodness congratulations the week yeah for week. the week yeah Woo! which we're used to been doing like what 40 yeah look so out dan a... look out dan here it comes. <laughs> yeah. we had what? an overhaul in there and what two head gaskets and some other big jobs i did one of the head gaskets mm -hmm. jobs so yeah, just, just crazy. Sounds like it must be your jingle to me. Well, last week <laughs> might have, last week might have been a fluke week because this week we got a lot of little jobs this week. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. if we can have every week like last week, that'd be great. Hey, uh, I just say personally from my perspective, I just loved have loved working with you for the last few years, and uh, what I love to see you do. And at some point, we'll be able to maybe discuss this on another one, that your consistency in marketing is the, is the one thing that I'm proudest of, that you don't back off, that you understand. And maybe, Amber, you agree with that. Yeah. Um, you know, during the whole coronavirus beginning thing, when people were starting to uh, panic and, and cut things back, you know, we discussed it and we're like, you know, we need, we need to advertise more right now. We need more, we need more work in the door and we need to be seen more, not less. So. And it really does work. We, I've seen that throughout my career, the ones who are willing to roll the dice and, and support what they bought in terms of their marketing tools and use them properly, which you have been doing. And so it, as anybody out there watching, who'd like to know how it's done, maybe we won't <clears throat> direct them to you. So they bug you all the time. <laughs> But I can certainly refer to you as somebody who does what we recommend to make a stronger marketing program. And I want to thank you for your participation that way. Is there anything else about uh, ITRG consulting services that we might have missed that you'd look, do we need to mention anything at all? Feel free to share it as we uh, wrap it up here. We have pretty much unlimited access to Fred, Charlie, and Mike, and Jason, or Dustin. Dustin, so um, yeah, I call them on their cell phones eight o'clock at night and they'll answer and they'll ask any and they'll, they're, they're, they're there when we need them. So that's, that's nice. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. We appreciate uh, you taking the time.